Brucellosis or Brucella infection is a bacterial disease caused by various Brucella species, which mainly infect cattle, swine, goats, sheep, and dogs. Brucellosis is also known as undulant fever, Mediterranean fever, or Malta fever. Brucella organisms are small aerobic intracellular, cocobacilli. These are found in the reproductive organs of host animals, causing abortions and sterility. They are shed in urine, milk, placental fluid, and other fluids of the animals. The disease is transmitted from animals to humans by consuming unpasteurized milk and dairy products. Humans generally acquire the disease through direct contact with infected animals, by eating or drinking contaminated animal products, or by inhaling airborne agents. Most cases are caused by ingesting unpasteurized milk or cheese from infected goats or sheep. Talking about the pathophysiology of brucellosis. Brucella transmission can occur in humans via inhalation, ingestion, or by wounds and mucosa. After the infection, bacteria travels to the lymph nodes and then can spread by macrophages to other organs such as spleen, liver, bone marrow, and even reproductive organs, causing both localized and systemic infection. Symptoms frequently last for several months and chronic infections with brucellosis may last for years. Symptoms of brucellosis include fever, sweats, headaches, back pains, and physical weakness. In severe cases, the central nervous system and the lining of the heart may be affected. One form of the illness may also cause long-lasting symptoms, including recurrent fevers, joint pain, and fatigue. Treatment options for brucellosis include doxycycline 100 mg twice a day, for 45 days, plus streptomycin 1 gram daily, for 15 days. The main alternative therapy is doxycycline at 100 mg, twice a day, for 45 days, plus rifampicin at dose of 15 mg per kg per day, for 45 days. The optimal treatment for pregnant women, neonates and children under 8 years of age is not yet determined. For children, treatment options include cotrimoxazole, combined with an aminoglycoside such as streptomycin and gentamicin, or with rifampicin. So, that was all about brucella infection. Hope you like this video. And as always, stay tuned for more. Thank you.